Right, well, good, good morning to you all, everybody. My name's Matt, and um, we're going to be doing some rock pooling this morning. This is our rock pool ramble. It's going to be really, really good fun. And we've actually come to one of my favourite places in the whole of Cornwall for rock pooling. Wow, we've got a sea urchin. Wow, these are amazing. That's quite rare to see a sea urchin on the shore around Cornwall. Wow. Yeah. It is, it's like a, this is like, it looks like a mine. Yeah, doesn't it? <laughs> Look at that little fella. Yeah, now you can gently touch that. You'd be glad, you'd be glad to know that our, our sea urchins around Cornwall aren't dangerous. But some of the tropical ones can really give you a nasty spike because they're so sh so much sharper. But this one won't, won't hurt you. This one is the most aggressive type of crab. Now he's only a baby. They get big and they are really feisty when they're even bigger than that. Does it feel a shell? What's it feel like? I found a pincher. Look, look. We like a I think it feels furry. Doesn't it? He's got bat legs, specially modified for swimming, they look like a pair of paddles. And if you, if I show you this, look, if you hold him like this, he tries to swim off. Look, that's how they swim, they can go sideways really fast. Check it. Look at that. Velvet swimming crap. Wow. Quite feisty. This one here is not too bad, they're quite tough, but if you find a bigger starfish, you mustn't hold them for very long. Do you know why? When they get scared, their legs fall off. Oh, no. I'm glad I don't do that when I get scared. Can you imagine that if you went to cinema and saw a spooky film and one of your legs fell off? Yeah, but that's what happens to starfishes when they get scared. Their legs will actually drop off, but they can do something pretty cool. Do you know what they can do? Yeah, they grow new ones. It doesn't take them very long. They can do that. But one of the best things about the starfish, if you look underneath him, there's his mouth in the middle. Guess how he eats his dinner. You know about this? Well, they don't have teeth. They don't suck out the food. What they do if they want to eat something, they squirt their stomach inside out, and it comes out like a massive, great big blob of jelly. And it dissolves all the food, absorbs all the goodness out of the food, and then sucks a whole lot back in. Isn't that amazing? So there you go. They actually turn themselves in. So I lifted this one rock, you guys, and there's like four crabs in there. Wow, look at that. So that's a common shore crab. And there, that one there, is the boy. And this one here's the girl. Ooh, well spotted. Underneath the rocks, we get a lovely little crab called a broad-clawed porcelain crab. See that? And they've got really hooked-shaped tiny tips on their feet and they cling on underneath the rock and they're brilliantly camouflaged they just look like a little bit of moss or something now I actually lifted up a rock and this was just sitting there out of water completely and it was actually breathing for its skin it's amazing they don't need to be in water like an ordinary fish how cool is that and obviously that adapted partly from a frog well it looks frog like yeah yeah it, and they're very similar to like the mud skippers you get in the tropics aren't they that walk around on land now when the tide's out, obviously they've got hours of being exposed to the air, so being able to breathe is a real advantage. Hey guys, I've got, I've got a nice... Oh, you don't really need a net to catch these sort of creatures if you know what you're doing. Look at this. This is a prawn. Look. So a prawn... Oh, <laughs> We jump. A prawn is actually like a lobster, isn't it? It's like a see-through little lobstery creature. How can it jump so and, high? And when they swim, they flick this tail really powerfully, and then it jumped it right out of my hand. So should we put it in the water and let everyone see it swimming around? Yep. Yeah. And just pop him in there. You ready? Look, watch him. There he goes. Isn't he beautiful? So he's got he's got three pairs of beautiful long antennae and lovely little stripy joints on his legs. And that's a baby prawn. So you get all sizes of them in the rock. Oh, look at the there's one there's, around there's, there's a hermit crab inside that shell. Did you find all of those? What we've been looking at today is part of a very special place, the Foy Voluntary Marine Conservation Area. If you'd like, you'd like to find out more about that, please have a look on, um, on the, the website of the Friends of the Foy Estuary. And come along, we've got loads more events like this. 
We're looking for helpers too, so if any of you would like to get more involved, we would really like to, like to meet you guys and get you um, trained up. This winter we're actually training a load of people to do events just like this one, so I'm going to be trying to give out loads more of this sort of information so people have the confidence they need to take people rock pooling. It's actually not, you don't need a lot of knowledge, do you? You just need to be enthusiastic and make sure you do it safe.